What's up guys, my name is TechNubber here for Troubleshoot and today I've got another video for you on Windows 10. So as you may or may not know, HEVC, the new H.264 codec, is normally not included with Windows. If we try and open up an HEVC or H.265 video file, we get this, can't play, the item was encoded in a format that's not supported and we can choose to send feedback. Now if we try and open this with the normal Windows Media Player, we'll also get a similar error over here. Now before making this video, one of the main reasons that I'm doing this is because to get the HEVC codec on your computer, you need to get it from the Microsoft App Store. You need this if you're going to watch HDR content off of Netflix, etc, etc. You'll be taken to this page over here inside of the Microsoft App Store. After searching for HEVC, we get the HEVC video extensions plugin for Windows. And as you can see, Windows are charging $1 for HEVC video playback on your Windows PC. And you need this for Netflix, etc, etc, to watch HDR content on your Windows computer using the Netflix app. And this is more than incredibly ridiculous. Now, before opening up this video file inside of either of the media players, presented you with a, hey, you should come and buy this plugin for a dollar that lets you watch this video content when before, or at least I think it was included with Windows, and you can get it for free off of other websites. However, I'm pretty sure you need this extension over here for it to work with Netflix and things like that. So before pulling out your wallet and going and buying this, there's a much easier way of getting this for free. And in fact, it's even off of the Microsoft Store. If we go ahead and click the reviews up here, of which it's rated two stars with 206 reviews, you can see they're all people complaining about why on earth should they have to pay for HEVC video codecs to use inside of Windows apps. Well, in fact, you don't need to. If you check the description down below, you'll find a link to the following. So open up a browser of some kind and we'll head across to bit.ly slash F-R-E-E-H-E-V-C. So free havoc and we'll hit enter and we'll be taken across to this page over here. Of course, because I'm not in the US, I'll just hit close there to stay on this exact page. And as you can see from the Microsoft Corporation, HEVC video extensions from device manufacturer where here it is paid. Basically, this will come built in with your computer from certain manufacturers and certain pre-built versions of Windows, but you can get it for free by simply hitting the get button, hitting open, and boom, we can instantly see it inside of the Microsoft Store app. We'll hit get, and we're now installing the HEVC codec. I won't sign in with Microsoft. I'll just wait for this to install. No, I won't sign in. And there we go. If you click launch, you'll see it launches the movies and TV app. We can close out of all of these tabs. Oh, and by the way, this is where I got the test video to use for this. It's an HEVC 1920 by 1080 video file. Either ways, opening up our downloads folder and opening up the HEVC video, you can see now it works properly. If we go ahead and close out of Groovy or whatever they call that app and head into the Windows Media Player, you can see that it is still not supported because this codec is only for the Windows built-in apps. I think they're called WPF apps. Either way, that's why you need a separate codec. And the easiest way to get the HEVC codec, in my opinion, is by downloading VLC. So I'll download the 64-bit, then I'll click on it to open it up automatically, hit yes when prompted for admin, okay, next, 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 install, and then finish. So if I go ahead and drag and drop this video into VLC Media Player, you can see that it plays properly inside of this. If we try and open it up with the Windows Media Player now, you can still see that there's an error, so, in other words, just use VLC Media Player or the built-in one for this. So, open with, choose another app, use as default, VLC, OK, and there we go. Super simple, and your life is saved. Assuming that you've been stuck on Netflix or something like that, trying to watch HDR content, and it says you need to go ahead and buy a plugin, because that is just complete, total BS. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name has been Take Number here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helped you. Remember, the link is in the description down below. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.